Hello, here is Costa, Sierra Victor 3, Oscar Romeo Alpha and uh, today we're going to see a very interesting modification to the FRG7 uh, receiver produced uh, by ASU uh, which will allow you to convert it uh, to a true single sideband uh, receiver. Now this receiver uh, is a dual sideband receiver actually because uh, the filter that uh, defines the selectivity is a ceramic filter not a crystal fil filter or a, um, a mechanical filter it's a ceramic filter so when you switch from the LSB to the USB mode um, you're actually shifting the um, uh, the BFO uh, carrier and but uh, the filter is a ceramic uh, filter so you don't have the selectivity of a true single sideband uh, receiver. This means that uh, as you tune in, tune in signals, you hear them uh, twice uh, in, uh, in the dial. Um, for example, if you tune in a CW signal, as you tune in uh, your receiver, you will hear the tone of the CW signal to change from uh, high pitch to low pitch and then from low pitch to high pitch again. You will hear the same signal at uh, two different places in the dial. And uh, this, is, um, uh, this is what DSB, dual sideband receivers have. So we're going to uh, see um, a simple modification which, uh, it's not actually a modification, it's just an alignment procedure which uh, will allow you to convert your F F FRG7 uh, to a true sideband uh, receiver. Now before we get started uh, I have to tell you that uh, this um, modification does not require any uh, any soldering at all or any modification, actual modification to your uh, receiver so you still uh, held the value of, the, of your receiver if you want to resell it it's uh, basically just an alignment process um, which uh, will allow for the receiver to become a true SSB receiver. So get, let's get started. So the first thing uh, we need to look uh, is the block diagram of the, of the receiver. And um, here's the classic uh, Wadley loop thing. And uh, then uh, there's a the VFO, the main VFO of the receiver. And uh, the... Uh, the frequency does down, down converted to the 455 kilohertz uh, ceramic filter. This is all our our filter, and um, then it's followed by a an IF amplifier, and uh, here is our BFO, and uh, followed by a BFO buffer, which uh, drives the balanced uh, detector on, uh, when the mode is switched to SSB. So what we really try to do is to try to change the frequency of uh, this BFO uh, on uh, LSB mode and on uh, USB mode. And uh, we're going to change it in a different way that, uh, from that uh, that is described in the manual. Not different way, but uh, we're going to alter the frequency different, differently, at a different frequency. To understand uh, this better, I have drawn a... Um, quick uh, uh, diagram and uh, in, the, in the vertical axis uh, there's uh, the amplitude and the, in the horizontal axis uh, there's the frequency it's uh, like you will see it in uh, a spectrum analyzer and uh, here's our, uh, our uh, 455 uh, kilohertz uh, line uh, which um, should be in the center of, uh, of the passband of uh, our ceramic filter of the ceramic filter of the receiver and uh, Suppose uh, this is uh, this line here is uh, our uh, is the passband of uh, the filter. So what the manual states, uh, if you if you're going to have this this receiver aligned as uh, the manual states, uh, it states that uh, if you see here the manual to set the BFO frequency, uh, connect the frequency counter to TP405 and set the mode switch to LSB adjust T405 
406 for uh, 457 kilohertz on uh, the frequency counter reading and then set the mode to switch to USB CW and adjust uh, a TC404 for uh, 453 kilohertz so back in our diagram what the manual suggests is to set the BFO frequency on uh, LSB to 457 kilohertz which is uh, about here and uh, in USB mode to 453 kilohertz which is about here now you will notice that uh, these two frequencies um, are in the passband of uh, our ceramic filter they are within the passband and this is what um, causes the receiver to uh, receive the opposite sideband you're trying to receive for example in the LSB the LSB signals and also you receive many of the USB uh, signals and the opposite for the USB my modification is simply adjusting these uh, two frequencies to be further away from the uh, from the center center point of uh, the, the filter so I have drawn this uh, two dotted lines here to indicate uh, the set points for uh, the LSB and uh, the USB uh, the set points of uh, the BFO frequency so if uh, for example you adjust uh, the LSB from that uh, place to from that frequency to this frequency then um, what uh, what you achieve is that um, you have the selectivity of the uh, you have the filter um, the, the ceramic filter only at the one side of the of the carrier and um, uh, you pass only one side of the of the uh, uh, of, uh, of the signal the lower sideband uh, for the for this uh, particular example and uh, then for the USB you pass only the uh, upper sideband which is this uh, area here and for LSB you pass as I said the the lower sideband and you reject the the upper sideband completely so that's the different uh, with uh, uh, the different tuning uh, of, uh, of the BFO from that uh, described in the, in the manual and this uh, does really make a difference so let's uh, see the circuit a bit so here's the partial circuit of, uh, of the receiver and uh, we have focused here on the BFO section and uh, the buffer amplifier this is the BFO and this is the buffer amplifier and uh, this is the T406 which uh, we we'll have to adjust uh, for uh, uh, the LSB and uh, this is the TC404 uh, which we'll have to adjust uh, for the USB so we'll just uh, adjust uh, this component here and this component this for the LSB and this is for, uh, for, uh, for the USB to achieve the, um, uh, the signal signal uh, capability to, to the receiver now the easiest way to do it is to uh, build a small uh, crystal oscillator at any frequency uh, which uh, the receiver can receive doesn't matter really so you build a small crystal oscillator and uh, you apply its signal to the input uh, the RF input of the receiver and I uh, actually used uh, a small DDS oscillator that I have built but you can do it with any crystal oscillator it doesn't matter then you just have to tune in the crystal oscillator signal uh, with your main dial of your receiver and um, as you tune uh, as you tune in um, you adjust uh, the you switch to the uh, lower sideband mode and uh, you adjust the T406 uh, so that um, uh, when you turn uh, your dial uh, near the signal of the crystal oscillator uh, you will hear your uh, oscillator changing from a high pitch to a low pitch but uh, not going back from uh, low pitch to high pitch again as you scan as you, as you sweep uh, this uh, signal the signal of your crystal oscillator so you only want to uh, hear a, a, a high pitch tone uh, going from uh, high pitch to low pitch and then uh, 
just disappear and uh, in the USB it's the opposite you just uh, have to adjust the TC404 and um, before that switch to the USB mode and uh, when you do this uh, then um, scan and sweep uh, through this signal, the signal of the crystal oscillation